for Kenichi Targo. There's Lee Chong Wei. 22 year old Kenichi Targo from Japan. Making his first ever appearance here at the China Open. And that just probably Ian, emphasizes the point that we were making earlier about the Premier Super Series uh, status now. The BWF have promoted five tournaments of the 12 Super Series tournaments a year to Premier status. And this is the fifth and final one this year. And it has made a difference. Yes, yeah, absolutely. I mean, for the fans, it's been great seeing the top players playing against each other on a regular basis can only be a good thing for the game and uh, you know in the past quite a few players have avoided the china open you'd have to say too many chinese floaters in the draw you know but this time all the top players are obliged to play and it makes a big difference yeah it certainly does Li chong wei didn't make the journey to shanghai last year from the china open in 2009, Lee Chong Wei didn't have the best of tournaments because he was the number one seed and lost in the very first round to Jan Jorgensen of Denmark in three games. In fact, Jan Jorgensen made it all the way through to the final. So to 22-year-old Kenichi Targo, 16 in the world ranking, as I say, making his first appearance here at the China Open. 16 and 12, his win-loss record for the year. Played well recently because he reached the final of the French Super Series where he lost to this man in the final. And look at that, 60 and 5, his win-loss record for the year. And until last week in Hong Kong, he had reached the final of 17 consecutive tournaments that he had played. Now, for Japanese fans, that's rather ominous, isn't it? Kenichi Targo never won a match against his opponent of today. This is the ninth opportunity. And of those eight previous, this is the well, twice it's been to three games, and this is the third time that they've met this year. And Ian always difficult for a player when you've never beaten a certain opponent mind you there aren't many men that have beaten Lee Chong Wei because he's just been so consistent but it is difficult psychologically I guess for Targo to come into this match 8 and 0 head to head record yes and no I mean Targo is still a developing player I mean a lot of those a lot of those losses came before last year when he made his big big move forward and uh, you'd have to say, you know, he played him in the final of the French Open, played him in the final of the All England. I mean, he's had some fantastic results, and I'm sure he doesn't go on in a negative frame of mind. So I think he'll treat each, each opportunity as exactly that, an opportunity to try and turn that round. Yeah. I do remember, though, when, when I was a player and there's certain players that I played against, and whilst I went on to court believing that exactly what you've said that yes i can win this it's going to be my day today it's you know i'm going to turn it around if things start to go badly for you it's awfully difficult then to have an a deep inner belief that it really is going to be your day yeah, i mean but you know this, this is where you see whether young players like targo are potential champions because in these situations he's got to He's got to find a positive frame of mind and he's got to try and create some opportunities for himself and try and turn it around. And you'll learn a lot as a coach about your players in these situations. Certainly in this hall, it's tactically, it'll be a different game to when they played in the French final. Stade de Coubertin, a very compact stadium, a very compact stadium. Yeah. Quite a quick haul. Emphasis on trying to win the win the net and take the attack here. Slower haul, bigger stadium. It's a different game, different tactics required. Bad for an opening smash, is it? 
good rally, good quality. Chong Wei had a few attacking opportunities. Targo was able to stand up to it defensively, eventually created his own opportunity. And really surprised Lee Chong Wei by going down the centre with that smash. That's not the best of serves, I have to say. Short, flat, flick service, easily intercepted. Oh, that's a good angle. This encounter will play against Sho Suzaki of Japan in the quarter final. Oof, it's delightful. It'll be interesting to watch Lee Chong Wei this week, how he reacts to last week's result. First time he's not reached a final Since for over a year. Yeah. 14 months, 23 days to be precise. Losing in the quarterfinal of the World Championships in Paris. Now you don't often see this with Lee Chong Wei. Doesn't want to change the shuttle. Normally, when his opponent asks to change the shuttle, duly obliges. Yeah, it has to be said in that last week, Lee Chong Wei was. I think it's fair comment to say not particularly happy with the fact that he wasn't informed that the all Chinese men's doubles semi-final which was due to take place just before his men's singles semi-final against Lindan the world and Olympic champion he wasn't told in advance that that match wasn't going to happen and therefore he wasn't really properly prepared for that semi-final he's not using that as an excuse but he didn't really have a proper warm-up before that semi-final yeah I mean I, I just think this is going to be really interesting I mean logically if it goes as seeded it will be Lee Chong Wei Lin Dan in the semi-final again this week and I'll be really interested to see how uh, Chong Wei reacts in that situation how he deals with it yeah Just so smooth with his movement there, Lee Chong Wei. Yeah, he's already having some success in this match with the angled attack to Targo's backhand wing. That's something we'll have to watch during this game. Seems to be a tactic early on, that's for sure. Forced the short lift by the tight spinning net shot. Yeah, we see Chong Wei having to take that late. Losing control of the length. A good precise smash down the line. six-point advantage to the world number one at the mid-game interval been world number one since September 2008 
We'll have to check the record books, Ian, but I think that's the longest uninterrupted reign of a world number one in singles, men's singles, that is. Yes, I would say that's very possible. He's certainly been so consistent and he's played as well. You know, he's, he's supported the Super Series right from the yep. start. Yep. He's been ever present. He's been very consistent with his results. And he fully deserves to have maintained that position for such a long period. Yeah, so I remember when he first became world number one, it was actually for a couple of weeks back in 2006, which interrupted Lin's Dan, Lin Dan's reign as world number one in between the two Olympic Games, Athens in 2004 and 2008. And then following the Beijing Olympics, soon after that, this man took over as world number one on a regular basis, and he's held on to it ever since. Well, that's three points lost since the interval. Chong Wei just lost focus. Three mistakes. Yeah, and that's unusual, isn't it? Normally after the interval, it comes out very strong. Cool, good. Great pressure from Lee Chong Wei. Look at that. Superb. Brilliant net play from Lee Chong Wei because Targo was ready to pounce. Stood his ground. The net shot was just so accurate, couldn't make the kill. It's a little bit dangerous from Targo there. Lee Chong Wei plays good angle cross drop. Cross lifts not the best option against someone as quick as Chong Wei.
this yeah. time the center attack he's just getting too much time isn't it Jill yeah Targo giving him too much time to get organized select his shot no pressure on him at the moment I said the refound his focus as Lee Chong Wei six straight points oh that's super though from Targo See it, John Way going for the trick shot, cross, but eventually forced into taking the back and backhand shot in the rear court. High lift, Targo, good straight smash. It's a good net. Chong Wei so quick in. Saw his chance, got in. Managed to get some spin on the shuttle. That caused Targo to lose control of that lift. Yeah, and again, just. If you give Lee Chong Wei time in the rear court, he's got so much variety and such good control. And this time he took the pace off, went for the angle with the cross slice. Yeah, beautiful spinning net shot. Well, 11 game points. Simple unforced error there from Targo. 21-9, just 13 minutes of play. Lee Chong Wei takes the opening game. Well, I'm afraid you were right, Jill. No belief there was there from Targo. No, that's that's the problem, and that's what I was I was trying to explain that you do go on with all the right intentions, right mindset, you know, and as soon as things start to go wrong, then you know it's almost as if, as much as you're consciously trying to tell yourself that yes, it can be done, subconsciously you fall into the trap of oh no, the same thing's going to happen again. Mm, yeah, and it it certainly looked that way. But I find that quite disappointing from Targo. He's one of the most talented young players in the world at the moment. Yeah. And he has had some close sets and a couple of close matches with uh, Chong Wei. And uh, hopefully he can turn it around in the second game. But certainly in the first game, in the rear court, he's given Chong Wei time. He's given Chong Wei time to get organized and use all his variety from the rear court. And then in the forecourt, he's let Chong Wei take the shuttle early and get some spin on the shuttle and get control of the front court as well. You know, he's... Targo's a better player than that. Let's see what he can do in this second game. really wild Great placement of the smash, the body smash again, aimed towards the right hip. Yeah, 
And again, that steep angle down to the backhand defence of Targo. Proven effective. shot again yeah and the key is he gets there so early doesn't he again it was the angled shot down from around the head down to the targo backhand defense quick in behind it good spinning net well each on road you're absolutely cruising at the moment Oh, round the back shot. <laughs> well, there's a sign of the confidence. Wasn't at all bad either, was it? isn't it <laughs> that's a fantastic rally really is great placement and variety in attack early on the net once he took the attack gave his opponent no opportunity to turn that round Steep, steep angle. Yeah, again, he's able to intercept that so early, though. Targo has had some good results, though, hasn't he? You were mentioning that earlier. I remember you and I commentating on him beating Chen Jin in the Korean Open at the beginning of the year. Also, Malaysian Super Series event, the first of the OSM BWF World Super Series this year. Beat Bao Chun Lai, who's recently announced his retirement from the game. Yeah, getting a lot of success there, isn't he? Getting up early, clipping it down cross to the backhand defense of Targo. was back on his heels. Backhand defense, a little bit of variety, switch sides, just as effective. Well, 
Well, the eight point advantage at the mid game interval. Yeah. After the dive there, just look at the reaction from Targo. So as a coach, Ian, what do you say to a player in this sort of situation? Try something. Do something. Do something positive. Try and be a little bit more aggressive early on in the rallies. Try and take some initiative. Try and get something out of it. Try and change the momentum of the game. Certainly needs to be more aggressive on the serve and return situations. Try and make Chong Wei take the shuttle a little bit later. Cut his time down. It's very passive at the moment. He tried something on defect on the return of serve there. Sent Chong Wei the wrong way. Just missed it. And yeah, that's too good. Chong Wei hits the line again with the attacking shot. Oh. That time is just wide. It's a rare event in this match. Chong Wei missing the net shot there. Took it early. Ah, just missed it. Well, umpire making the correction, and I was going to say, well, my instinctive reaction was that that was wide. Didn't seem to be the right call, but justice in the end and good umpiring. Restores the 10 point advantage. Superb. Great net, we'll see it from here. It's so tight, nothing Targo can do with that. Judgment, but surely too little, too late. Oh, John, why so relaxed and so confident? just watching the match on the adjoining court. No, the problem for Targo, he knows how dangerous it is to lift the shuttle. Trying to play the net, pretty dangerous area too.
leaps from that base position in the centre of the court. Able to find the winner. And that's really been a demonstration today by the world number one masterclass. saying to Lee Chong Wei, wait for the line judge to get back into position after mopping the court. Well, yeah. finally some urgency from Targo there. Tried to increase the intensity of the rally, flattened out his trajectory a little bit to the rear court. Reduced Chong Wei's time on the shuttle, and it paid dividends. No, I missed it. dangerous to smash cross court if your opponent gets it early as Lee Chong Wei did on that occasion then you've got the full diagonal to scamper and as I was just saying it really has been a masterclass because now 13 match points for the world number one only needed the one opportunity 21-9 21-7 And the crowd showing their appreciation of the world number one. 28 minutes for that victory. Well, Ian, you said to me that it would be interesting to see how Lee Chong Wei reacted after last week. I think you've got your answer there. And it's good to see, I have to say. It'll be a very interesting week. Chong Wei looks motivated, looks ready to go, and looks, I would say, looks very hungry to play uh, Lindan again in the semi, which is great news. And there's confirmation of the demolition, really, of Kanichi Targo, 21-9, 21-7. Today started with men's doubles. And the number four seeds from Korea, Go Sun Kyung and Yu Young Sun, overcoming Chen Hung Ling and Lin Yu Lang. Then it was women's doubles and another pair from Taipei. They too were playing against World Championship silver medalists. Ipuyin had no answer for Lee Chure in the women's singles. And in the mixed doubles, well, the Danes continue their good run, disposing of Diju and Gutta of India, also in two straight games. Good rallies in that mixed doubles, and good to see Diju making his way back to full fitness but my goodness what a joy it was to watch Lee Chong Wei in full flow in that men's singles against Kenichi Targo 21-9 21-7 in just 29 minutes absolutely extraordinary so that of course is the end of our action there is confirmation of the results of today and that of course concludes second round action today we will have quarterfinals 
tomorrow. Quarterfinals, of course, tomorrow will be a little later than our matches today. 5 p.m. local time. That's 0900 GMT. Of course, Ian Wright and myself, Jill Clark, we will be back for quarterfinals. And I personally hope that we see a few more closer matches uh, through game thriller as we did last week in Hong Kong. Because sadly, I thought that today was going to be some great matchups, but never transpired all of the matches we had, as you can see, in two straight games. Well, of course, as I say, that's it for today from Shanghai, from all of us here. Hope you'll be able to join us tomorrow. 5 p.m. local, 0900 GMT. Ian Wright and myself will be back tomorrow for all quarter-final action. And don't forget, of course, we will be here on semi-finals, 1200 local time. And finals, all five finals on Sunday as well. So great action still to come from Shanghai. But in the meantime, from Ian and myself, join us tomorrow. Bye for now.